All right, hey guys, today, um, well, it's been a while since I made a video, and I apologize about that. Uh, there's been lots of school stuff going on and everything, but, um, uh, I made this, uh, this cool little, uh, contraption, and, and I put it in an Altoids tin. Uh, I made it to solve one of my biggest problems. It is a 9 volt. It's a battery charger that, it is a... I wouldn't call it a battery. Well, it charges USB devices, except for iPhones, because Apple made it so that USB device. Well, they made they made it so that Apple devices have to have power well, running through all four of the lot of the uh, wires on um, on the USB to actually power to actually charge the phone. Mine uses two though. Um, so uh, this contraption is pretty simple here. Uh, we have our USB hookup here. Oh. We have it right here, and uh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. There's, oh man, it became unplugged, but um, I'll have to plug that back in in a sec. But um, uh, while it's unplugged, I guess I'll just show you how it works. So it runs the power through this little guy right here this is a 5 volt regulator and it takes the 9 volts uh, it takes the 9 volt electricity coming out of the 9 volt battery and it knocks it down to 5 volts which is safe for USB devices um, here I'm going to reattach this thing yeah I want, when I uh, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to try to improve this thing and uh, when I get it when, when I uh, make like the final version of it I'm definitely going to solder it together so that it does not keep falling apart like it is now. That's the only issue with it. I have to plug this negative wire going back into the, um, I have to plug the, the negative wire going into the, um, the USB port. I have to plug it back in a lot. Uh... Alright, there we go. Better. So, um, basically, this, uh, oh man, we can't unplug again. Um, whatever, I'll fix that later. So, uh, it runs the electricity, um, through the regulator, and then it runs it into this USB port here. Um, I, I found the design on the internet, and, um, it's worked pretty well. The only issue with it is that um, these uh, these regulators, the way that they work uh, just makes them very inefficient. See, so I'll explain to you how they work. The, the way that they get rid of that extra 4 volts of electricity is they literally just turn it into heat and waste it. That's all that they do. Um, so if you're gonna make one of these things at home, make sure that you never touch this thing. That is the ground, and also it is a heat sink. Um, yeah, don't touch it. I got an annoying little second degree burn from that thing once. Yeah, it was not fun, but um, yeah, it is really useful, um, like when you're not near an outlet and your phone's running out of battery you just take this thing out plug it in and your phone or uh well, what i use since i use an iphone uh i actually charge i use this to charge my um is it uh i use a uh, charging case i use that to charge a charger case and i use the charger case to charge my iphone uh, it works though it's come in handy a few times and uh yeah, so, um, I'll post another video very soon, um, on, uh, on this thing actually charging the case. So, um, yeah, I will have more videos coming out soon. I've been having some issues with trying to get a good camera, 
because the eyesights, uh, they, they use Firewire, and my laptop, my Inspiron, only uses uh, USB and HDMI, and so I need to buy a converter, and uh, it's taking a while to find a good one. But, um, yeah, guys, so uh, stay tuned for more videos. I will have more out. Sorry for not posting any recently. Thanks for watching. Bye.